MTD CNC, bringing you the latest engineering news via video media. David, what's this process we can see? Uh, what we're showing here is the um, TC series uh, workpiece inspection probes and this particular one that we're going to see on here is TC50 as it's called, an infrared uh, workpiece inspection probe for uh, inspecting key parts of the, of the part prior to uh, taking off the machine. It's a wireless uh, system uh, based on infrared. We also do radio probes as well, but this one that we're showing on the demo is infrared. Um, so we've got the receiver unit mounted on the machine guard at the back there and communication is done between the two. Also the TC5420, the tool setting probe, also works from the same receiver. So you just need one receiver on the machine tool and you can use both systems together within one application. What can I inspect? You, with the standard setup, you can inspect a, ser a whole series of basic operations from bores, slots, find edges. It's perfect for setup of the workpiece when you first put the, the billet onto the machine to check in just sort of key features of, of, the, uh, of the part before you take it away. You can then, with additional software, go into full five axis 3D, full endless inspection. Why not use a CMM? Well, the, the with the process with a, a CMM is that when you take the component off the machine and you put it onto your, put it onto your CMM, um, you, you would find uh, errors, find that the, the component is machined incorrectly, so then you have to bring it back to the machine tool to, to rework if it's not indeed a scrap component. Now, for certain manufacturers that are producing higher end components, that to bring it back to the machine tool and set up is either extremely difficult or in some cases impossible. So what we're saying is, is if you inspect it in the machine tool and ensure that it's correct before it comes off the machine, then you're producing right first time accurate components. And how, is, how fast is your probe when compared to the competition? Well, we, we market our probe as the fastest probe on the market. Uh, we can do full probing with a TC50 at three meters a minute. When you consider that the conventional probing speeds that are available out there are around about the 400 millimeters a minute, you can see that it's uh, significantly quicker. That is a big saving, depending on how many features you're inspecting, it could be minutes. Absolutely, yeah. We, when we looked at developing the, the systems, we, we went out to the customers and we asked them what's good about the probes that are out there at the moment, what's not so good, and everyone came back saying the same thing as, as you've asked there, that you know this is a machine tool, it's making me money when it's cutting. And, but they do understand the benefits of being able to reduce the setup times and to be able to check the component in the, in the machine tool. So if we can keep that probing uh, time down so you, you spend more time cutting but get the benefits of on-machine inspection, then it's a win-win for everybody. How about the accuracy? The, the probe systems themselves come with a full calibration suite, so as part of the uh, solution we, we also supply calibration masters and by ca regularly calibrating the probe you are actually tying it in with any thermal movement, any adjustments of the, of the system. All the probes are fully quality assurance before they, they leave the factory with certified standards, so as long as the system is calibrated on a frequent basis then you know, they're, they're always much more accurate than the machine tool itself will allow. And I know a lot of people who purchase a vertical machine in centre in this case, they actually purchase the probe and the laser with the machine. What happens if I've already got a machine, I didn't want one and maybe my business model has changed and I now need it? Can I retrofit? Yeah, yeah. The, the, we, we operate. For, that, that's essentially what we do here in in the UK. It's Bloom UK. Um, a lot of our kit comes in on machines from various parts of the world, and it's already pre-installed on the machine. And we're here to support that and, and and you know provide customers with backup. But we really make our money in the UK from this subsidiary by retrofitting into the field. So going to existing machine tools and adding this kit onto the machines, and yeah, that's that's our day-to-day -day business. And we've got a fan at control here. What happens if I use Mitsubishi or Heidenhain or one of the other controls? Yeah, we, I mean, you can use it on, on any type of control, really. We have software existing for, for most of the system, for most machines out there. I mean, here we're showing it on a Bridgeport GX710 uh, machine from ETG with a FANUC, but we work on Heidenhain, uh, Mazatrol, you know, Siemens 840s. It's, it, yeah, any, any soft, we've got software for many controls, so that's not a problem. So just to conclude, David, why would an engineer go for a Bloom Novatest probe and not one of the other products available in the field? 
Well, the, the big advantage is speed. That's that's really what you know is our key selling point against against the competition. Because, as I said before, it's about trying to get the benefits of the on-machine probing, but to, to keep that probing time down to its minimum. So you spend more time cutting. And with the TC series probes at three meters a minute probing speeds, they're significantly faster than the competition.